One of the keys to identifying plant diseases is to know the signs and symptoms of that disease that are expressed on a particular plant. So let's take a look at this. What is the difference between a sign or a symptom? As I said, it's a very valuable tool in identifying a disease. In this particular illustration, we see these lesions on turf grass plants. So we, it helps us to identify what is that disease. So let's start by taking a look at symptoms. Symptoms are the effects the disease has on the plant. Again, in this illustration, we see the lesions. It's not the actual fungus, but it's the symptoms that the disease is expressing on that plant. It's the effect of the disease. I think another good analogy is when you go to the doctor. You're sick, you go to the doctor. The doctor is going to ask, well, what are your symptoms? Do you have a fever? Do you have a headache? Do you have an upset stomach? This is not the actual pathogen, but it's your reaction to that pathogen. The body is reacting and it may be causing a headache, a fever, or an upset stomach. So those are the symptoms. So it's the effects the disease has in this particular case on the plant because we're talking about plant diseases. We take a look at individual plants but also on uh, groups of plants. In this particular case it's necrotic ring spot and it produces this very distinct looking frog eye appearance on this group of turf grass plants. So it's a symptom. It's the reaction that the plant has to that pathogen. Now if we move over to signs, the sign is the actual pathogen. It's physical evidence of that pathogen. It may be spores from the fungi, it may be mushrooms from the fungi, or the mycelium. In this particular case we see this is red thread on turf grass and the pinkish reddish threads you see growing out of the turf grass blades is actually the red thread mycelium uh, of the fungus that's causing this particular disease. So it's the actual pathogen. We also see it in mushrooms that are, this happens to be fairy ring on turf grass. And the fungus is growing in the soil but it produces these fruiting bodies. These mushrooms are actual evidence, physical evidence of the pathogen. So hopefully, I hope this short video helps you to understand the difference between signs and symptoms. Again, it's very valuable in understanding what disease you're dealing with. Thank you.